Yeah, they've, they've been good. The first year was quite strange. First, first turning professional, it was uh, quite hard, a bit of a shock. You know, obviously the level of racing's a lot harder, and um, you find yourself doing a lot more teamwork rather than going for results yourself. But you had a good advantage. You knew everyone in the staff because you are from British Cycling, from the academy, and Team Sky is obviously very related to British Cycling. Yeah, I knew a few of the guys, but not everyone. There was a lot of new staff and obviously a lot of new riders to get to know. But I mean, yeah, it's definitely a lot easier going to a British team than going to a foreign team. So that was that made the transition a lot easier. Uh, so yeah. And the second year. So far, so good, yeah, really enjoying it this year. Now I've got to know all the riders. I think the team's running a lot more smoothly and, you know, everyone gets on well. And uh, it's just fun to be at, fun to be at bike races. Uh, the Giro went well for me. I went into that really fresh because I did the track, track worlds in March. So, yeah, came out of that pretty good. And um, now I'm feeling good and hopefully I can try and get a result on the general classification here in Poland. So now we know you are probably uh, a Grand Tour or a stage race rider. Uh, before we had a good idea with your third place in Baby Giro, oh. but you confirm it this uh, year, especially at the Road du Sud, you went third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, as an amateur, I always like the stage races. Well, I like the one days as well, but I mean, anything with sort of hills in it, I used to sort of do quite well in but then obviously as a professional and as your first year professional it's a total different ball game I mean the sprinters can climb better than you <laughs> so uh, but I mean yeah now now I've got a had a full season under my belt and now I've got a grand tour uh, done this year I feel a lot stronger especially on the climb so yeah Route the Sud was good for me and um, yeah just generally climbing a lot better and recovering a lot better each day after the Giro and yeah hopefully I can get results in these week long races like the Tour of Poland so and stuff like that. So. Does it mean one day you will ride a, a Grand Tour perhaps uh, as a leader of a team? Yeah I don't know I think that's maybe a dream but for, for me it's just all about you know progressing slowly and You know, hopefully one day that might happen, but it might not. So for now, I'll just try and focus on sort of the here and now and, and what I can do well in now rather than, you know, I think you've always looked to the future and sort of sort of forget about what you're doing now and maybe miss out on some opportunities that are right in front of you. So. But you know, there is Wiggins and the team is looking for a new young rider for, for GC. Yeah, no, but yeah, Wiggins has still got a lot of years in them and like I said I mean uh, it's easy enough to sit here and say oh you can do this you can do that but actually doing it to a different different story so like I said before for now I'll try and focus on sort of um, what I can do and that's getting books in these sort of smaller races so what do you like in in stage races uh, I like the sort of the more hillier days the undulating days Where there's more of a selection in the peloton and there's a smaller group and maybe yeah, I can if it comes to the line in a smaller group I can do well in the sprint there. Um, yeah it's up, but it's also good to help the sprinters as well and try and you know help help lead out people as well. I quite enjoy doing that sometimes, you know. Uh, good mate Swifty, he's always good in the sprint so uh, yeah it's good fun to lead them out as well. But it's very hard to focus both on Grand Tour and on the track, so does it mean you plan stopping tracks? Yeah, I'm going to do the track this winter and try and go to the London Olympics for the team suit, but where, if I don't get picked for that, then yeah, this this year could possibly be the last year that I do the tracks, so then um, I'll concentrate on the road a bit more, but I mean, I think I'll always do the track in the winter just because it's so good for your leg speed and keeps you in good condition, and I find that when I do the track, I go better on the road, so For me, it's, there's no reason to stop riding it, just maybe not focus on it as much.